Well, hello Scrappers. Mike here. Welcome back to my channel. What's going on today? Well, up on the bench we have another box. A box from another viewer who has a dilemma. Um, a fellow named Jerry emailed me, kind of out of the blue, and said, Hey Mike, I got a problem. I work in an industry where we do a lot of silver soldering. And my employer lets me take the scrap home from the silver soldering and he says I would like to find a cost effective way to recover the silver from all this scrap silver solder for as long as they let me continue to take it home he's thinking that once silver prices hit a certain level and they've been going up that his employer is not going to let him take it home anymore but apparently he stockpiled a lot of this scrap, and he's looking for a cost-effective way to recover the silver from it. So let's see what Jerry sent me here. He says he works in an industry where they do certain things in a very traditional manner, even though that there's uh, much more efficient and more modern ways to do it. For some things, they still do silver solder. And look at this. He sent me a whole lot of ends from his silver solder rods and there's a lot of it here that is a heavy heavy container we'll weigh it here in a minute but yeah so that's what he sent me right there um i've done silver solder before i have a video on it if i can dredge it up i'll put a link in the upper right um he was saying, you know, the cost of nitric acid and all makes it kind of prohibitive to process it that way. And I think he's right. I've done silver solder before and just dissolving it in nitric acid and then recovering the silver from it. That is an expensive way to go, um, even though I have found some cheaper sources of nitric acid lately. In fact, I just put out a video on some cheaper nitric acid I found. I'll put a link to that video in the upper right, too, in case you're in the need of some nitric acid. But still, that's an expensive way to go, even with cheaper acid. So um, he's wondering if I can come up with a different way to uh, get the silver out of this without having to resort to expensive nitric acid. And Jerry, the answer to that question is a great big maybe. <laughs> uh, possibly. Um, and this is something I might want to turn to the wisdom of crowds, the smart people in my audience. They might have some ideas. Like, could we maybe smelt this stuff and get rid of most of the impurities in it and wind up with reasonably pure silver without having to resort to nitric acid. That would be something, wouldn't it? Um, now, I did look up the data sheet on this stuff. Um, it's He says that they're using Radnor Safety Sill 56 brazing filler material. And um, the approximate composition is about 56% silver, hence SIL 56 in the name. Um, so 56% silver about 22% copper, 17% uh, zinc roughly, 5% tin, and 0.15% other stuff. So there's a lot of copper, zinc, and tin in here that needs to go away. So I don't know if smelting can accomplish that. And I don't know if I can smelt it on a large enough scale to handle however much is here. Let's, let me get my scale and we'll weigh this and see how much Jerry has sent me. Okay, we're on the gram scale. Yes, Richard, I know I'm weighing the container, but let me tell you, that container is just a fraction of the weight of this. Um, 2,430 grams, or... Five point three five seven pounds. That's what we've got here. Should be about fifty six percent silver once we get rid of all the other stuff there. The the question I have is how's the best way to get rid of that other stuff? I know I can do it with nitric acid. Uh, poor man's nitric acid using um, say uh, sulfuric acid drain cleaner and a nitrate salt might work. But I am a little worried about the low solubility of silver sulfate. 
because always the lowest solubility um, chemical is going to come out of solution. You know, we're not just going to make silver nitrate that way. We're also going to make silver sulfate, and that's probably going to drop out of solution. So um, I don't know that poor man's nitric is the way to go. Yeah, I could do it with nitric, but even with my cheaper nitric acid source, it's going to be expensive to process it. Jerry specifically mentioned he'd like to see a non-nitric acid way to do it. So, anybody out there have any tips on how to smelt what would be basically be crude silver, uh, roughly 56% with a lot of other metals in it, to, uh, to make it purer on a fairly large scale, because we got over two kilos of it here. And Jerry, well, I don't know how much he has. He's probably got a lot of it stockpiled. So, um, you have any good ideas, pass them along to me in the comments of the video. And uh, when I get a chance, we'll try them out. Um, I told Jerry that I'm really busy with stuff for Johnny right now. And he's going to be kind of, you know, in the queue. And he's going to have to wait a little while before I can get to this. But that's just going to give you guys a chance to give me some feedback on how best to do this. So get to typing, guys. I'd appreciate it. Let me know what you think. And uh, we'll see if we can get this processed for uh, Jerry. Get him some pure silver out of his uh, raising rod ends. All right. Well, thanks for watching this video. If you found it interesting, educational, informative, inspirational, thought-provoking, whatever, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe, where eventually you'll see me processing this stuff one way or another. So hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching this one. Bye.